Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Campus Nodes. Forget me not. If you can remember what happened last time, we found somebody back, and she wanted to come in to then show them also this and that. In other words, she was just looking for us because, well, stuff. Either way, guys and gals, welcome back. So sit back, relax, and what do you mean, indeed? What do you mean, Utah? For example, the larva with a hornet beetle takes a year to climb out of its soil, right? Oh, okay. Ah, I can't remember keeping them when I was small. I've had problems with a friend that wouldn't make them fight when they grow up. And so, I fed my beetle really well. It hoped that it would become the strongest of them all. I mixed my dad's energy drinks <laughs> into its food and tied way to a train. Damn. Then, the big day finally came. My horned beetle was so tired out. I don't know what to say to that. When I think back on it, I feel bad I made the little guy go through all that. Yeah, true. Get back to Zakaias. Hey, you just gonna ignore my story? Dude, everybody's ignoring you now, so... Ugh. They live years in the ground, don't they? I think seven years, right? I envy them. They got to sleep in a comfy patch of soil for seven years. Well, you you could do that right now if you want. They aren't just sleeping, and they're special species between two to five years. Really? That's what having those great to graduate on the first go. And those that need to repeat their years again and again? Like Togi-chan-san? Like Togi-chan-san. Why did you have to repeat that twice? If Sakai had stayed two to five years on the ground, and this is all we got this year. Kurumi san pointed a finger upward at the sound. Imagine how many Sakai has laid laying dormant and underground. Oh god. Maybe we'll get tons of them if we dig a hole. Okay, she's getting too. Yeah, too murderous. Ugh. Stop it! Put that spade back right away! Anyway, what I was trying to say is... Maybe there's a completely different world from ours. Just a thin layer of soil away. me, son You want to show something or all, all something, didn't you? What kind of completely different world do you mean to introduce us to? Hehe, <laughs> this is my place. So I'm gonna let you guys in on my secret when the tour ends. Mm. When my tour ends. That's right. I got the hiccups. Good for us, right? Any problem with that? Damn, she is feisty right now. We all kept silent in agreement. Could only son not it satisfied. Damn. Okay, let's take the circle clockwise starting south. While we do that, let's have Chi-chan tell us everything that she's been up to. Damn, she's feisty. Get easy on me, please. Although, I have to say, there's nothing really much for me to talk about. Because I began to talk to the past two months she had been away. Cool. So, you stayed with a friend's house outside the border and investigated IMA with her? Yes, sorry I got you guys worried. But, Kosaki-san, that friend of yours isn't an exception from MIA, is she? How'd you get, how did you get your friend to let her stay at your place and get her to help? It's not a big deal. I just kept reminding her who I was and why I was there each time she was about to forget. Makes sense. But goddamn, it sounds really annoying. Every day, every single day. It took a lot of effort. But it sure, it was a sure method. Every day she would be convinced, and every day she would have to be to believe in her decision that she made that day before to let me stay. Damn! And I mean damn! Then, halfway, we went through a new method. She tried something down about me in her secret diary that only she would know about. Even if she forgot about me, her records would still be there. Oh, makes sense. 
add to that, everything went pretty smoothly. That's actually pretty not not bad at all. Write down everything you know, keep it safe, and then keep on checking on it because well, well it helps out. It's pretty much a memo, so if somebody forgets, it makes sense. Weren't we good enough to be your partners in research? Yeah, weren't we? Sorry, I wanted to make information on samples that was affected by MIA. And she wanted information on the sample that was an exception. Our arrangements work both ways. Makes sense. Makes sense, holy crap. Not gonna lie, that actually makes a whole lot of sense. I was like, ugh. Either way, you used a friend of yours and it's ugh. Well then. Gorami-san looked unconvinced with Kosuke-san's reaction, but simply bit her lips and just kept quiet. Don't fight, don't speak up, stand up. Tell her why you want went away. Why did you throw away your phone though? That's but that's the big concern. You stop being observed. What? I think the people that installed those apps on our phones without our knowing are our enemy. They aren't on our side. Didn't I say this before that they, like we were being like something's bad is gonna happen to us? Am I is, is everything I've been saying so far true or what? So to make sure of that, I had to cut them out. Okay. That's also the reason why I went solo and stayed away from all of you. So she didn't want to bring her harm to us our way, so if something if something happens to her Oh Now I feel like a complete idiot. Why didn't I think of that? Shit. I don't know what they do once they realize I was off their radar. If they were going to get mad, then I was going to be in danger. I didn't want anybody else to get affected. Holy crap! That's smart as hell! Do you mean we're safe now? Yeah, with the Fuma girl voice. Do you mean we're safe? As in, no, I don't think we're safe at all. I'm guessing they were waiting for her to come back and... I'm guessing they're gonna attack at the right moment. Which I know what they're gonna do. For the moment, I tried provoking them a bit, but they didn't do anything. So I say we're alright. Maybe they're saying, ah, oh, she died. Maybe somebody else. Fumakun, don't you notice anything about me? Hmm. You lost weight? Ugh. Okay, good luck, Fuma. I'm flattered, but no. Try again. Fuma thought a while and said a kosuke san from tip to toe. Then he made an exclamation. You aren't wearing a badge. But you said you came from the outside. Wait, if she has a badge, where's her badge? She came from outside and I don't see anything. How did you do that? If you crossed the porch without one, Sekiro would come chasing after you. I promised a friend that I keep that a secret. She'll get mad if, you to if I told you without a proper price. Now that I've explained myself, I hope you understand when I disappeared and how I became after back after all this time. <sighs> you know what? I'm saying something bad's gonna happen to us because our grammar is fucking up, so I'm saying something bad's gonna happen. I understand, but I'm not convinced. <sighs> Oh, okay. Let, let's see what happens. Come on, Togi-chan. Say something. Me? Um, Alright. I happen to see that shian -san came back fine. I don't really care what to hear she doesn't want to talk about. Yeah, true. But again, something it might be something vital, something not. Who knows? Thanks. I'll just say I'm infinitely interested in this friend of yours. She's really different. We have our similarities, but she insists on knowing everything about the world by herself. Greedy, right? That did sound a bit like Kosugu san, who always declared that she would only believe in son of a bitch. Sorry about that, guys. I just had a phone call, and it was spam. So let's keep on going forth. 
That did sound like a bit like Kosuki-san, who was always declared that she would only believe in what she what she saw with her own eyes. Goddamn phone with spam now, freaking making me all lose my grammar no more. I think I'll get along with you too. Kirigakun, I'll just introduce you to sometime. My friend, Misuki-chan. That's all I have to say for now. I'll fill you in on anything new I learned from, from now on, so... Forgive me, please. With your big bushy eyebrows? Sure, why not? Since you ask so nicely. Oh, Fuma, you're a good boy. I somehow had a feeling there was an important question I had to ask. And are we gonna ask it? Then, I remember that little boy, Takuma-kun. He was probably outside the perimeter now. Which, again, he might have forgot about us. I hadn't met him since. I wonder if he still remembers me. Let's see what happens. Togi chan, Togi chan. What's wrong? You sound to gloom. Togi chan, aren't you hiding anything from us, are you? Every woman has a secret or two, you know. Ah, shit, so he, she is hiding something from us. Ah. I believe you. I believe you too. Don't we make a pair? Damn! Togi chan san and winked. Said and winked. Ah. <sighs> Damn you. I don't know why, but I'm guessing she, she she likes using a lot of sarcasm against everybody, doesn't she? Now that Jian san's back, why don't we all call the scene and all enjoy the scenery? God damn it, I feel like your sarcasm's going all overboard a little bit right now. I suppose we should. Let's go. But wait. What now? <laughs> Sorry. I need to go use the toilet. Oh, God. Can you go all ahead without me? Hey, but you're our guide. Yeah. Togi-san's a free soul. But Kurumi-san isn't any worse. Yeah. Shia-san is pretty independent. I guess that's how she's our, that's how our party goes. Again? Ugh. Let's hope nothing bad happens. The Labyrinth of Flower and Knowledge. Oh god, I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh shit. Nobody would imagine that there would be such an open space behind the Fortress of Trees. Well, at least we're not in the Fortress of Solitude. The tip of the greenhouse could be seen from the main street. But when we walked in, we realized it was just bigger than it looked. It was like walking into a crystal pyramid. Well, like, no, uh, well, I've been to the luxuries, and it's pretty cool. It is a walking pyramid. Is it is technically? It's a hotel pyramid, but still, it looks really crystalish outside. Tropical plants grew in the greenhouse. That place left felt completely detached from the other world we lived in. A different place. A world in between worlds. Wait, are you saying that we're in a world between worlds? Are we, in, are we inside a dream? Are we inside a dream inside another dream? Oh crap, I'm putting, I'm putting too much effort into this. Let's keep on going forth. A different world. A germ popped up into my head. Wanted to step into the glass house. Filled with plants. Each representing a collection of knowledge. Holy crap, we are thinking of Inception. Each plant that grew inside, every tiny leaf was inform has was information. Wait, every tiny leaf was information about a fairway place in time. Every tiny leaf was. I don't know what, but I have a feeling that this is wrong in more ways than one. Either way, let's go forth. I wonder what we would learn from this place today. What would we learn? Every tiny branch was a symbol of a choice we could make and a trigger that would lead us to results we could never farm with. This place brought such thoughts to the mind. Well then, I'd say that those are good kind of thoughts at the same time, like, who knows, plot points. The time we spent apart gave us a chance to rethink the situation that we were in. The answer to this was almost taking shape. Krika-kun, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. 
If I told Kosuki-san what had been going on in my mind, I'm sure she wants to laugh at me. Well, we could laugh back at her with the giant bush bushy bushy eyebrows. Which is it me or is it clipping through the hair? Ha. Ah. So it's on a completely different topic. Kurumi-san's kinda late. Maybe she couldn't figure out where the greenhouse we went into. Fumakun, do you mind going to pick her up? I'll go too. No, boy. You're going to take my arm and go to on a show with me. Togusan grabbed a hold of my arm. What's going on? I need more of you to replenish what I lost this week. Wait, what? More of... Wait, what? You need more of what? Oh. But he thought about it a couple of seconds. Oh, boy. Just a week? I had to wait two months. Whoa. What were you doing on... Well, what when time skipped. What? I, I mean, that's not what I meant. No, I mean, Masayumi-san, I haven't seen you in two months. Don't you need to stick with me? shun son, you're falling apart. I'm not going. I'll stay here. No, you can't. Leave. Yuta? Oh shit, we got we do have adoption. What should I do? What should we do? Huh. You know what, I'm gonna save here for a little bit and let's see what happens because I'm kinda scared if I stay with them something bad might happen to us. Same thing, something good. And something if I do go with Fuma, something bad might happen. Or something even worse. You guys and gals? I think I might go with Togi-chan-san and Kosuki-san. Fuma. Sorry, man. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Blast it! Fine! I'll go get Kanchan myself! I hope you get you punished for this. So he got jealous we got to stay with two girls. Holy crap! Fuma ran away as he cried on his leave. We hurt our best friend's feelings. Look there, boy. Beautiful flowers. Personally, I think they look poisonous. All the tropical flowers may look so dynamic. Indeed. Indeed, ourselves. Why did we change our voice? I don't know. Can, can't you be more romantic? I just can't be. Not with you, Togi san. You said it. I'm going to make you regret that someday. Oh boy, we shouldn't have said that. How strange. Flowers that show the true so colors truly. But people can't do the same. It's so unfair. It is. Well, Chian san, that's how God made us. You always reason things so unscientifically. But I'm serious. Really serious. Somehow I believe more her than her. Think about it. She could smell our tomato juice. I'm not gonna let that go. I'm not gonna let this go. She smelled our tomato juice from our bag. How the hell was she able to do that? That's my big question. That's I'm not. I'm not gonna let this go. She's a vampire, 100% through and through. Hey, have you heard two things about intelligent design? I've heard about interactive design. Yeah. No, not that. It's a hypothesis that something of a higher intelligence made a basic structure of life form, like a DNA, and plants in us on Earth. Hmm. I had heard I had gene theorists would have overthrown ideas like those by now. There are scientists who believe in religion. True. I'm not averse to the idea. Why? When we opened up a human's body in class. The only thing that we saw sorts of organs, vessels, and flesh. There was no soul to be found. That's sad, isn't it? Well, coming from the girl that has no soul. Wow. So, I decided to believe something like a god must have hidden our souls away. Someplace in our bodies. It's not like I have proof, but they do say souls have weight after all. Wait. 
Yee, now you're gonna scare her. An American doctor. <laughs> An American named McDo Duncan McDonald did an experiment. He found that the body upon death was 21 grams lighter than it was alive. This hits because the soul had left the body, you know. That isn't proof. A human's weight is never the same for the time factors. Factors like breathing and even sweating could change body weight. But actually, can it? It's easy to dismiss the idea, Chian san. It's just that I don't find it strange even if it's something like a soul or a god that exists in this world. Even if we can't observe it. Damn! How about you, Chian san? Don't you think it's more fun to believe in possibilities? Instead of denying everything all the time? Damn, he got she got her good. Why do butterflies and bees find flowers? Oh god no, I don't wanna have this talk. Oh god no. Cause it gets unmuttered after a stretch of silence, right? They say it's because insects have a sensitive reception for light. And they are able to sense a wider range of infrared and ultraviolet rays. Maybe to insects, flowers are far much more beautiful than we see with our own eyes. If there's a word that made the if there's if there's a world made from a completely different spectrum of light. Even if it's right next to us, we can't see or acknowledge it. I suppose that could be the possibility. Yep. Romantic, right? Looks like you're all having fun. What are you talking about? Whoa, Kurumi-san, since when were you here? Where's Fuma? Fuku? I didn't see him on the way. You have us have missed each other? Yep. I suppose it's our turn to go pick him up. That's a characteristic of you, Togi-san, to suggest that. And I... <sighs> Togi? Something's completely off. Okay, then I won't go. I'll stay with you, boy. Focus on latching to my arm again. <sighs> I had a feeling Tokisan was staying close to me than usual. Something's off then. Something's completely off. Why don't you go? He just gave you a compliment. I'll do whatever you ask of me to do, boy. Okay. Guys and gals, I think I'm gonna end this here. Because, well... What should, should we go fight for ourselves or should we go? Or should we let a Togishan san go? Which I know if we let her go, something bad might happen. And if I'll go, he might rape us. By the way, guys and gals, my, my name is Aaron Knight. And I don't know what to do after this because, well, I don't know if we'll go or not go. But if you like the video, hit the like button and share this with your friends. Also, hit the little red button down there to subscribe for more videos like this. Until then, guys and gals, my name is Aaron Knight, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Later.